I want to talk about cybersecurity stocks because they've been ripping. And Palo Alto does report today after the bell. Uh, Palo Alto, Joe, uh, one month is uh, up 15 percent. CrowdStrike's up 22. You well, own you own Palo Alto personally and in the Joe T. Correct. And, there, and there's a lot here to that Palo Alto needs to recover from. Um, let's remember the, the words customer spending fatigue and what that did to the stock. February 20th to February 21st, stock went down 30 percent. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're speaking about a recovery, but it's still well below where it was before it reported earnings. 3.3 percent billings growth is not exciting at all when last year you did 26 percent. So Palo Alto got the benefit of the doubt because we think of them as a best in breed cybersecurity name and they absolutely are. But without question, they need to grow the cloud software revenue and the firewall network business is struggling right now. This report, they don't get the benefit of the doubt, in my opinion. This report, they have to step forward. They have to deliver something that's going to get the investor base excited once again. They have to tell us that Billings growth is going to get back into double-digit territory in 2025 mm -hmm. through 2026. This is a very important report. You like CrowdStrike better because you own that one, too? I like it better because it's performing a lot better, sure. <laughs> it's up 135 percent in one year. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> By the way, uh, Palo Alto's CEO is going to be on with uh, Kramer tonight on Mad Money. Nikesh Aurora is going to be there at 6 o'clock, so don't miss that following the earnings report, and you'll, you'll hear from uh, Mr. Aurora uh, directly. Rob Seachin, you own Fortnet, which I think has been the worst performing of the... <laughs> <laughs> this is what it is. I didn't make it up. The worst but I, performing... But, but I did know you'd bring it up. <laughs> of course. It's my, not my fault. That's yours. You shouldn't have owned it. Well, Crowd strikes up 20. This is over a month. Why, why is it such an underperformer? Can you, can you tell so, me that? Con concerns about the top line slowing in the near term. Ultimately, we think it's one of the higher quality cyber names. I'm going to tell you that embarrassingly, George, I'm sorry. I'm very good friends with George Kurtz. And the crowd strike. Yeah, He's crowd strike. strike. I, 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 I should own it for him. I should own it for me. It's 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 40 percent up year to date. It's just been always been a darling that we felt like we were chasing. We bought Fortinet because we thought we were buying it a little cheaper. All the same secular demand and themes that you would see in that space. We felt at the price it made more sense for the way we own stocks. But um, at the end of the day, crowds up 40 percent year to date and this is up seven. Um, not really worried about it. Uh, when you have a premium valuation on any any of these and you see a slowing in sales, you're you're ultimately going to have some valuation compression, and that's what we've seen. But it's still an attractive name. Oh, in the past, we've owned Fortinet, and this I'm sorry, this is a great example of why cheap is not necessarily always good. Look at the, the valuation of Fortinet relative to Palo Alto and CrowdStrike. People cite the valuation argument all the time. Now look at the performance. The cheapest stock is the one that's actually underperforming the most. Okay. Salesforce we're watching today too, Joe, because it was reiterated to buy at Goldman Sachs. Okay. They and gave a bullish earnings uh, preview, and that's next week. Yeah. So buyback story, check the box, really good. Initiated the dividend, check the box, really good. But April 20th was a seminal day. That was the day that Informatica suggested that they are not looking to do a deal. There was concern surrounding Salesforce potentially doing a deal, making a return to going back to be the spending Salesforce. We don't want that. We want Salesforce to be the company that is focusing on its capital allocation strategy and ultimately delivering the best generative AI platform. Why has Workday underperformed so badly year to date if we're talking about cloud and cloud software names? IT budgets for Workday, IT budgets are beginning to have the same degree of uh, cost consciousness that we're seeing with consumers themselves. That's why when you're looking at software right now, I think a lot of reports this week, not just Workday, also Synopsys, it's going to be a very strong read through to what those IT budgets are looking like. Are they continuing to contract? That could be a problem for software.